Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine. I'm here with another exclusive interview. I'm going to be interviewing Keegan Peterson, but we're going to have not really an interview. It's more of a chat, as you guys know, and you're used to on this channel. So I'm first of all, welcome Keegan to the show, of course. Um, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about your performances, etc. So let's get straight into it. I just want to start off with what has it been like to be back playing live cricket again? Um, it's been amazing. Uh, we've been waiting with for so long. It's been a frustrating, what, seven months it is, I think. Mm. So to be back on the park, it's what we've all been waiting for. Can you give me some insight into like your preparation leading up to it? Because obviously there's a lot of young cricketers out there that are still in lockdown, not been able to play. Can you maybe give them some tips on what they can do to stay fit? Um, because obviously you've done it successfully. I mean, obviously coming back, you already performed on the first game already. So what sort of advice can you give them? Yeah, in the month leading up to this game, uh, or the month, uh, there was a lot of training, a lot of fitness. Uh, hit thousands of balls. So in preparation for this game, um, to get as well prepared as it can be, uh, yeah, that's always just been key for me um, in my whole career, just hitting thousands of balls and getting into a rhythm again, seeing that we haven't had any game time, so it was difficult to almost um, implement it, but uh, yeah. So I first want to start off with last season, obviously, um, not having the season that you had before that, um, it, it was quite tough last season. Can you maybe give me some insight into what went down with that season? Um, um, why didn't it perform the same as the season before? Yeah, it was obviously a frustrating season for me last year. Um, I actually didn't even score 100 besides the, the one against England. So uh, it's um, a funny story. I actually told Sarl when I got to 100, and like this, it's a monkey off my back. I haven't felt this in a long time. <laughs> uh, that's incredible. Um, so what I want to ask you now, obviously, about that century, I mean, it was quite phenomenal coming in um, after losing an early wicket. What was key to getting to that landmark for you? Um, yeah, it was always going to be difficult being one down so early. Um, the bowling side is always hyped and they feel like they're on top of you. Um, but we just came together and actually tried to calm down the innings and just get us back on track again. So just to bet long and get us into a match winning, uh, match winning situation. Now, I know you're going to be humble about it, but I mean, it's not easy to score 173. It's a massive century, um, obviously, and a massive partnership. What goes into the thought processes behind that? And then, um, yeah, it's it, it's a mental battle with yourself all day long. I know if you're going to get tired, and trust me, you do get tired. I'm feeling it today. But um, yeah, it's 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 it all boils down to how, how much you actually want it and um, how much it means to you. Uh, so yeah, it was a, a, a massive patience game for both myself and Saddle out there. Uh, but it was all about the team and trying to, like I say, Bet ourselves into a match winning situation because uh, winning a four day game is always difficult. So that was the main goal. Hmm. I mean, I've asked, I've spoken to some of the other guys from around the ground um, and I've spoken to them about their, their goals for the season and what motivated them. I particularly asked um, Tienes the Brain, for example, he's another person that's fighting for that Proteus position. We know that you're fighting for a Proteus spot. Um, was that your thought process going into the season, that that's going to be your driving factor? Yes, that, that is the end goal. Um, I, I, I try not to think about it too much. Um, I feel that's maybe where my downfall was last year, um, okay. being so close to, to getting to higher honours. So it's in the back of your mind the whole time. and You almost try and be what, the, what they want you to be and expect you to be. But at the end of the day, it's, it's you got to understand and understand your game and know what works for you and not think about the the pro tiers all the time and that will come with time and um, if you do well it, uh, you, you will get you'll get there eventually and that's awesome that's a great advice to others out there as well because i mean yeah you need to focus on scoring runs first and obviously you, you focused on the on the dolphins what has it been like settling in with your new teammates um um what is it obviously like to be amongst quite a young team and also to be captained by someone, a new captain, someone like Marcus Ackerman. 
no, it's, it's been brilliant. They've made me feel at home since I, I came in. And because it's such a young team, it makes it easy to gel with everyone and everyone gets along. Um, and fortunate for me, I've played with and against a lot of the guys here. So it wasn't difficult for me to fit in. Mm. Obviously, on the Lions, I mean, on paper, if you look at them, everybody was looking at the the, uh, the team on paper and saying like, wow, what a, what a formidable team. But you completely thrashed them. And um, with all due respect to the to the Lions, but you guys completely dominated that game. What, what sort of message did the coach give you? And what made you guys play such an amazing game against them? Uh, I just think our team is in a great mental space. Um, we are now playing against the Lions and with a star-studded team, it can become very intimidating at times. But we weren't too focused on them. Um, we just focused on what we have to do well and what we've been trying well and job training and um, just executing what, what, what we need to do. And I, b I believe that with, with our team and if, if we if we play that way, think that way, uh, uh, it's going to be difficult for, for lots of teams to to. to, to almost beat us if you said that way it might sound cocky but hmm. and it's not at all it's just uh we are very confident at the moment and we trust our game plans yeah to win you have to be confident it's not cocky it's more confident um that's, that's what it is um to have to be able to see a guy like keshav maharaj in your team perform the way he has um what does he bring to that to that side you know, Keshav's brilliant. It's it's great to have a guy like that in our team. But you you'll see, it's just the cut above the rest. The control he pulls with, the calmness he brings to the team. It's um, it's amazing. And yes, for sure, there are leadership qualities there. Um, he is a, a senior player in the squad, so uh, massive respect for him in the environment. And what he does, he does very well. He's arguably the best in the world. Mm -hmm. So, Keegan, thanks a lot for tuning in. Good luck for your next match. Rest up. I'm not going to ask you about previews for the next match. I just want you to rest up and uh, get yourself ready for the next game. Perfect. Thank you very much, man.